Hey guys, Tarek with Cyclone FPV, and I'm actually doing a really quick video here, um, and it's only because I'm putting up some new antenna connections uh, on our website, and I know there's a little bit of confusion there um, between, uh, sorry, I'm looking to my left or to my right here to see a few things that are going on, uh, between SMA, RPSMA, and what the differences are. Now, this isn't going to be a whole antenna conversation. This is just going to be to help you decide what you have and what you need, okay? So let's go down, and we'll do a split screen here or a picture-in-picture -picture like we usually do. And what I've done is I've pulled some of our product that we have here that is going up on the website and I've got the labels here for you um, and some antennas and different types. But again, this isn't about antennas right now as much as it is about the connection. So we know that there's SMA and RPSMA, right? Which nobody really cares about what it stands for. But uh, if you want to know, it's the subminiature version A, which is what it is what SMA stands for. So subminiature uh, version A, so SMA, okay? Which doesn't matter at this point. It's not going to make a difference to us at all. Uh, somewhere around 19, late 1950s, early 1960s, something like that, it was adopted uh, with that name. Um, and basically, they're coax uh, uh, connections, right? Coax uh, look, look like coax, like what's on the end of your cable wire. A little bit smaller, but very similar in design. Um, and so there's a couple things that you need to know about them, right? Uh, first thing is that Let's look at this, and by all means, please, any any people that want to be on this gender rant or whatever, I'm not making giving you this comparison for anything other than just for memory. Okay, so you have SMA and RPSMA. So SMA is um, basically the termination, whether it's the small end or the big end. I'll explain to you what this is. So SMA means, and this is how it's interpreted, right? Uh, versus RPSMA. RPSMA is reverse pol polarity, but in this case, it could be like RGSMA, which would be reverse gender, right? So uh, an SMA uh, male connection and male, and we're going to look at this like males are usually bigger than females. I guess genetically they're bigger, taller, whatever it may be. God, don't hit me with emails about how we're not equal. It's not what I'm talking about, but I'm just talking about physical appearance, uh, male population versus female population. I believe males have larger characteristics, you know, whatever. So let's just go with that for memory purposes, right? So SMA, uh, would be, if you're talking about, depending on the, uh, connection you're talking about, this is the larger connection and this is the smaller connection right here, right? So this would actually screw into this um, and that's how you would fasten them. Now, so an SMA male, right? SMA male would mean that you're talking about the bigger connection because on a bigger connection, the, uh, the not the reverse polarity or reverse, it's a gender reversal basically of going from male to female or the other way around. Uh, this is going to be SMA male. An SMA male is basically when you take the big end of the, of the um, connector. So in this case, it's about seven, a little over seven and a half millimeters in diameter. Um, when it's got the pin in it, when the big side, I'm trying to make this as simple without sounding politically incorrect, whatever. When the larger connection point, which is about a little over seven and a half millimeters, has, is a male, meaning it's got the pin in it, right? And I think we all understand why they're male and female, why they're called that. So when the male connection is the larger, when the larger connection is male, meaning it has the pin in it, that's SMA male, okay? When the larger connection has a hole in it, that's a reverse polarity or reverse gender uh, 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 connection, and that's gonna be RP SMA, okay? That means that when you have an antenna that says it's RP SMA, it means that the connection at the end, and let's just take this one for example from, uh, from uh, TBS, okay? So TBS has two kinds of these stubbies, right? There's an SMA and an RP SMA, right? And then there's left-handed and right-handed. We'll get into that later, but this is just for SMA connections. This is an SMA, this normally, if it's got the largest, we'll say 7.6 millimeters maybe, connection, right? The part that screws into the other part, it should have the pin, that would be SMA. If it's missing that, right, then it's going to be RPSMA. This is a female. It has no pin in it. It's got the hole in it. And therefore, that is a reverse polarity, reverse gender, reverse polarity, SMA. Okay? This one has the pin in it, same size connections, but the larger connection should have the pin in it, making it the male connection. And therefore, that is SMA. So if somebody says, I have an SMA antenna, they're talking about at the base of the antenna, the pin is in the part that screws in, all right? If they say I have an RP SMA antenna, that means that at the base of their antenna with the larger part, a little over seven and a half, seven point six 7.6 or so millimeters, that has a hole in it and not a pin, okay? Now let's look at the flip side. The flip side is you have RP SMA on this side too, and now this is gonna be the smaller size, a little over six millimeters, right? And this is the receiving end of, of the antenna itself. So this is an RP SMA antenna, 
This is an RPSMA connector on it as well because the smaller version or the smaller connection should have a hole in it to be SMA, which means that it's the female side, the smaller frame, but it's got a hole in it. Again, we all understand why it's male and female. Okay, so if you have an SMA, SMA or sometimes they'll just call it SMA male, if you have an SMA male or SMA antenna, it plugs into an SMA receiver that's about six point, a little over 6.1 millimeters, I think, uh, and those go together, okay? Now, if you're describing something to someone and you want to get the adapter for your antenna, then you will say, okay, my SMA male, if you want to go that far, SMA male here, and <clears throat> let me grab another antenna real quick. I think I pulled one more out. Yeah, here, let me show you this one, right? So when you've got an antenna, and you know if you've got goggles and you're using flat patch or, or patch antennas like the one that I had right here, um, you're gonna need to do an angle, right? Usually you're gonna do an angle off your goggles. So if you look here, because this is the larger uh, um, of the two, and as you can see, this is the smaller receiving end and this is the connection end here, the screw down end right here. So the larger end, if it has a pin, that's a male, that's SMA male right there, right? Now you need to make a 90 degree connection. So you need a, a connector that is SMA female to SMA male, okay? And what that means is, as you can see, that's SMA female. It's the smaller size with the hole in it. And on the other end is SMA male. That's a larger size with the pin in it. So this basically takes an SMA male plug and turns it into a 90 degree SMA connection. So let's screw that in there. And there you go. Now, keep in mind, you do lose some, uh, you, there is some decibel loss uh, when you do this. So try your best to avoid this when you can. But if you have to, you have to. But just remember, if you have an SMA uh, antenna and you need to make a 90 degree angle or any sort of angle 45 or 90 you have to get SMA female to SMA male adapter okay um, and they may I don't think they're gonna say SMA male to SMA female adapter but I don't know maybe the wording would be uh, maybe the wording would be like that on my listings here like this is a new thing that we're gonna be stalking it's female to male all right and that's 90 degrees and that means that all the small ends have uh, the hole and all the larger end have the pin. Now, when you have, another thing that you need to keep in mind is these SMA male um, uh, ohm uh, uh, terminators, right? So you know that with your VTX, for example, on your antenna itself, uh, if you don't put an antenna, I'm sorry, on your VTX, if you don't attach an antenna to it, then um, you start getting this heat buildup and you can damage your VTX, right? And so the antenna allows to take the heat and the frequency and just kind of dispense it, much like a heat shrink would on a processor, but much more uh, in depth than that. But still, basically, it's allowing the, um, the heat to dissipate as well as sending the frequency out uh, and, and broadcasting that frequency out. And I'm simplifying it, right, for only this purpose. When you don't want to put an antenna on, and, and I'm going to grab something here and show you. So let's just say you have a connection this is a really bad example, but let's just say you have one of these, uh, or actually, hold on, let me grab something else here. Let me grab one of these. Okay, I'll grab one of these. These are MMCX, which we'll go over in another video. But let's say you have an MMCX off of your, uh, if I can open this, oh, I'll just turn the bag over, I don't have time for this. Okay, so here's an MMCX, right? We all know MMCX, or most of us know what MMCX is, and that's gonna attach to your flight control, or that's gonna attach to your VTX, right? And we add these extensions so that we can actually, you know, uh, uh, extend our um, antennas off and, and, and make the difference up between where the VTX is and where we're gonna fasten the antenna. Now, unfortunately, this is, a, as you can see, this is an RPSMA uh, connection, okay? This is an RPSMA, this is a female connection, or it's a male connection on what should be a female connector. But if you end up with one, now these ones that I have here are male only, but I will have the female ones in stock. But what you need to do, and let, let me now grab one like this here. Uh, I believe I have the male version here, so let me see real quick. Sorry, I happened to grab one and it was the uh, female version. Okay, so this is it right here. So this is the female version, not the male version. So when you've got something like this and you're working on your quad, right? So you've got this attached and you're working on your quad, you're not gonna be able to keep your VTX from powering on. You get one of these terminators right here and you plug this in. This is a 50 ohm impedance uh, terminator. And what this does is basically 
act as your antenna to prevent the damage from getting to your VTX. So if you're not able to put your antenna on while you're working on this and you're just building your quad, you're testing or you're configuring in Betaflight, for example, and you're not gonna put your antenna on, slap one of these little uh, 50 ohm terminators on there and you'll be just as safe, you'll be fine, all right? Now I don't know scientific studies of how long it's fine, it may be fine for good, I don't know, but this is a 50 ohm terminator that we use when we're working on quads and we don't have the um, uh, uh, antennas plugged in. So again, as you notice here, this is, a, uh, this is an SMA male, okay? 50 ohm terminator and it's SMA male and it's there's no RP on this one because it's supposed to have a pin at this diameter size. However, when you look at these two connections, you can see clearly here, and I'm gonna to try to zoom in so I can show this a little bit better. All right, so I'll tilt these a little bit. Well, I guess you can kind of see it. There's more of a gold tint to this one. That means that there is a pin in there and there's more of a darker uh, color here, which means that's just the hole. So on this one, this is supposed to have the hole because it's a smaller diameter connector. That is SMA female. This is RPSMA, okay? Which means that it's the reverse polarity or reverse gender where, sh where it should have been a hole, there is now a pin. Okay, so I don't know if that helps you guys, but I've been getting a lot of questions about that and on how to do it and how to tell what you've got. And it does get confusing. Even I, you know, used to go, wait a minute, wait, 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 I'm confused, especially because nobody names it the same way all the time. Like some people will just say RPSMA, some people will say RPSMA uh, male, RPSMA female. And I'm like, okay, um, that's telling me it's reverse polarity male, meaning there should be a pin now because it's reverse polarity. I would just rather say, RPSMA and forget the gender part at the end. It would make sense. But so again, looking back at ones like these, like this TBS one, the gold version of this is RP or is SMA. It's got the pin inside, right? The, the, the female version of this, the silver version is RPSMA because it's got the hole here. And this applies towards everything, all right? Including your um, patch antennas and all that. All right, I hope that helped guys. It's very simple. It's supposed to be kind of a quick little thing. I, I didn't get all into the science of it. I can't tell you that I know all the science of it. So please, you know, I'm sure there's more information out there, but this is just to help you guys if you're trying to make a quick choice or trying to look for products like this and you don't know which one to get, okay? If you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, you can always reach me at Tark at CycloneFPV.com. Please, as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. Other than that, God bless. Spend time with your family, guys, and uh, safe flying. We will see you soon. Peace. Bye.